Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we have an unboxing of the Field Company Dutch oven that just recently came out. This is their number 10. And uh, I think this is a seven quart. So without further ado, let's just get into the unboxing so we can check it out. I'm excited for this, guys. Field Company did not have anything bigger than the number eight, which I think is a four and a half or maybe five quart, but I think it's a four and a half from what I remember. And I do have that one. It's a great Dutch oven, but um, I, you know, I think that uh, Field Company did need something a little bit bigger. And uh, so I'm excited to give this a review. All right, guys, and we have a box for the lid. You can see here, this is the box for the lid. Also comes packaged really nicely. So we're gonna get to that in a minute. But first we're gonna check out the Dutch oven that's in here. So packaged really well, to be honest. It looks great. And uh, that's all we got. We also got a, a card in here. And I love these cards because they have a lot of information uh, in them. And uh, if you guys are interested, you guys can pause the video and read these. Uh, also, we have a thank you on the front side. Always uh, an awesome piece to have uh, good information. So with that, let's get into the Dutch oven. Um, considering how large this is, and this is a seven quart, it's actually fairly light. So not heavy uh, as, as much as I thought it would be. Underside, Field Company number 10 made in USA. There's a little bit of a uh, casting flaws here and there. You can see one there. You can see one here, a little bit here, here. But um, other than that, it looks pretty great. Here's the number on, on this one, on mine. Uh, what is that, 3A17. So good looking Dutch oven. Now what I do wanna test is see how level this is. Um, I'll tell you guys a quick story. I ordered the original one or, you know, when it first came out and uh, the first one that I got was defective. So I shipped it back. I, I you know, gave them uh, not that not not necessarily that I called field company, but I did uh, send them a message and let them know that there was something wrong with the Dutch oven. And uh, they were actually really quick uh, with responding and uh, they were more than happy to uh, exchange it for me. So uh, great customer service on field company. Uh, I highly recommend them. So with that, let's give this a look. Here's the thing that I don't understand. <clears throat> so this is brand new. And um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but there is some warping going on. So uh, hopefully you guys can see this a little bit better if I put it like this. If you take a look over here and the center, they are warped. I'm not sure why they are coming out this way. I don't know if the foundry is having issues or what's going on, but yeah, the center is almost touching. And if you can see the heat ring on the side, uh, you can see a gap, but with the center, no gap. So I might contact Field Company once again and, and just say, hey, what's going on? So I got to test this out. But the first one had the same issues. Um, can't really tell here, but um, I'm going to bring you guys with me. So let's, I'm not going to pause the video so you guys just can see. I'm not making this stuff up. But let's take a look here. I was getting ready to make uh, artisan bread in this. So here we go. So somewhat of a teeter, not a spinner, but yeah, there's something going on with their casting. Um, so not bad, not the first one was pretty bad. I'll be honest. Um, the seasoning is kind of awkward as well. It doesn't seem to be. You guys can hear that, but it does teeter a little bit. But the other one was a lot worse. Now, I mean, I'll be honest, that is going to bother me 
um, especially because I like cooking uh, with, you know, on the stovetop. So here, let's see if I can show you guys a little bit better. I'm adjusting my tripod here. So let me see if I can show you guys what I'm trying to show you or say about these and what I had, you know, with the issues that I had with the first one. So And as you can see, there's there's somewhat of a a warp. If you can see over here where my fingernail is at, you can see the space between the uh, the heat ring, and then in the center there is nothing, no no space. So there's warping going on. I don't know exactly why or why or you know or what is causing that, but yeah, I mean that's a little upsetting i'm gonna call and uh, talk to field company and see what's going on but this is the second one i don't want to seem like a pain in the butt but um if we're going to be paying this amount of money i i do want it to be um pretty level and i'll show you guys another piece that i have that is actually pretty straight so this is a number eight field company number eight skillet and uh, this one Let's see, let me lift it up a little bit. All right, let's see. So on this one, you can tell that it's actually pretty flat. There's uh, the same amount of, of uh, gap between the center and uh, the, the, the center and the edges. I don't know if you guys can see that very well, but don't know exactly what's going on. Just maybe a casting issue that they're having. But I'm, I'm going to talk to a field company and show them this. Um, so with that, I think I'm going to um, send them a message.